Hello, my name is Thomas Emmanuel and I'm a director at STR, a co-star company. Welcome to this month's video on hotel performance and I'm delighted to be able to present some more positive data than we have seen really since the start of the pandemic. Hotels could fully reopen their doors on the 17th of May and the impact of those restrictions being eased are clear and immediate to see. Firstly, looking at UK occupancy on a total room inventory methodology, which takes into account all hotels, even those that are currently closed when calculating the performance. It is quite clear to see from the 17th of May occupancy jumped up and now weekday troughs are consistently above previous weekday peaks. The data was certainly helped by the May half-term holiday and on Thursday the 29th of May occupancy nationwide reached a dizzying 69%, a data point that a few short weeks ago would have seemed impossible. Moving on to ADR and we can see a similar pattern. Once unlocking occurred, average rates grew, this time peaking slightly later on Friday June the 4th when ADR hit £78, higher than at any point since the COVID-19 pandemic began. So whilst we should of course celebrate the increase in performance, we still need to be realistic that we are some way off the performance we saw in 2019. As this chart shows, when RevPAR is indexed to 2019, nationwide RevPAR is still less than 60% of its prior levels. Somewhat sobering of course, but clearly showcasing the long road still ahead. As we have seen so often during the pandemic, however, there is a difference between the performance in London and the rest of the UK when indexing against 2019, we can clearly see just how much more of a rebound we have had outside the capital, where during the half-term peak, RevPAR was at 80% of 2019 levels, whilst London hovered at 30%. So the growth is clearly coming in the regions. As demand remains predominantly domestic leisure driven, we can see that those markets where leisure is the key demand driver are reaping the rewards. Dorset Regional has, on a daily basis since the start of June, seen an occupancy of over 90%, whilst it has been over 87% in the Lake District and Norfolk and Suffolk Regional. There is no doubt that another summer full of staycations is a positive for these markets. Moving back to our cities, and for the first month since the start of the pandemic, we've got no red occupancy bubbles in the UK. The only red bubble remains in Dublin, which is of course under different restrictions. The highest performance was in Plymouth with an impressive 88%, followed by Inverness at 74%. London still remains weaker at just 33%, but until corporate, mice and international demand return, the city's ability to grow occupancy will be challenged. The last available week shows similar patterns of performance, so we could be in for a stabilisation in occupancy in these markets until the final stage of restrictions are removed. Looking to the future, however, and business on the books is starting to pick up more. We can also see just how much better the UK is trending than neighbouring European countries. 36% occupancy on the books for the next 14 days certainly looks impressive when compared to our neighbours. We can see that business on the books clearly here for the regional UK and for London. The trend remains clear, weekend peaks and weekday troughs, but undoubtedly it is the strongest we have seen since the start of this dreadful pandemic. So for once, I feel like I've brought some positivity in this video. Occupancy and average rates are growing, and although the final stage of unlocking has been postponed, we are still in a far stronger position than we were a month ago. Of course, the vaccination programme remains key to unlocking further as more of the adult population gets their jabs. We must hope that the 19th of July is not pushed back any further and we can continue to see the recovery in our industry unfold. Thank you very much for watching and be well.